Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one is of the Goodwill Outlet and Donation Center, commonly called Bin's Shop. Uh, it's also known by another name, that is By the Pound. This um, is a, an interesting place. Uh, along the window there, you'll see some shopping carts that are all lined up. They're all taken. Uh, these are people who are here for the day or at least a number of hours and In a little while you'll see the, the process as <coughs> Merchandise is brought in and taken out now If you buy in volume, they've actually added that the, you get a reduced price if you buy say 21 pounds of clothing and uh, you'll work from there. Those were the shopping carts that are along the window. That's where they park themselves. Um, the layout's a little different from the last time I was here a few years ago. I don't come here that often, but it's always an interesting place to visit. Uh, you can get some deals, no doubt about that. Uh, people are digging continuously. <coughs> You'll notice that everyone is masked, not just because of COVID, but because of the potential for dust. Uh, a lot of people wear gloves. I was wearing work gloves in here, not rubber gloves, but work gloves. Uh, there's always a risk of some injury from uh, broken items. Um, the bins are segregated by clothing, so there are four four deep on each one but there's two uh, rows side by side the hard goods are separated from the books that are separated from the clothing uh, so there's a some amount of organization in these things uh, what you'll find is the the, the guy uh, the person who goes in up to the bins they try to be there one of the, as the first one uh, that comes out. And then once they pick through the four bins or three bins that have come out, then they take them back to the window. Either they or another person will then check through and then put some of the items back in the bins. But the organization is that they bring four out it. Then they take four back in. There is a washroom. I don't. I, I suspect they're open. There's vending machines there for some drinks. Um, they don't want to encourage them to stay the entire day, but hey, if you're gonna do this for a living, I guess you need some amenities. Prices are clearly posted up there. Here's one of the batches coming out. Now you see if folks are lining up, there's markings on the floor. If you don't follow those rules, you're out of the building. Uh, unfortunately, this particular one, I didn't catch all of the situation where they were rolling it in. Uh, I haven't put in my usual sound background soundtrack on this one. As, uh, I thought you might want to hear. It's not particularly loud, but there's always some sort of uh, a background noise. I picked up a few things for, for personal use. I picked up these uh, up 
pair, and they are joint, jointly powered, individually controlled car seat eaters. Uh, I picked up a life-saving hat, uh, which is wide brim with a with a uh, even longer brim, a wider brim down the back. Snapped up a camping shovel and. Um, an HP monitor. Uh, I was able to check. There's a plug on one of the posts. It happened to be right beside the post. The screen came up. The no device plugged in. Bounced around the screen the way it's supposed to. I, I don't mind having a spare screen. There are sections with toys as well. They're in the hard goods. Uh, backpacks and such, so they're not in, mixed in with the clothes so much, but boots, shoes. There's, here's a batch coming out now. They're rolling them in. Folks are all lined up right along the route. Like I said, there are markings on the floor, and if you don't follow the rules, you're not in the building. Batch of them going out of the room. They first they just brought them in, and they take out the next one. And that's all these guys do. There's four guys. They roll them in, and roll them out. The folks who are as going over, they know which ones are the older bins. They keep track of that. Folks will also go in and get a better look at the, the center portion of the area <coughs> when they've taken the bins out. So it's an interesting visit. Um, I don't mind visiting for a short time. I'm not willing to spend a huge amount of time in these places. Uh, it can get expensive if you're getting heavy items. For example, the monitor ended up with ten dollars because of its weight, but hey, it wasn't so terrible. <clears throat> Surprise! They left the post. They arranged it such that the post was going to interfere. Huh. Not my call on that, but it is arranged differently than it was when we first visited. All the shopping buggies were against the far wall there at that time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of the Goodwill Outlet and Donation Center. I hope you'll subscribe and give us a like. And possibly even a bell so that you can be notified of the next video that is being posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.